you know, how if you are white and racially abused, you are basically treated like it never happened. Why is this? Why does Greater Manchester Police, the police in general in the UK, tend to just go, well, you know, being called a, a cracker and a white this and a white, that's not really racism, is it? Um, it is. And as such, it should be dealt with and people should be prosecuted. The fact that time and time again, people of different skin colours are getting away with this is abhorrent. It's not right. It shouldn't be allowed. Now, I've been um, told of an incident today that has now been investigated where an entitled individual went into a venue, caused chaos, then had to be removed from the fact of being told to leave the individual, entitled individual, refused to do so. Now, the security officer on that venue has then proceeded to do his job without trying to cause any harm. At which point, upon getting this individual to the door, they then assaulted him. From which point, the black youth outside, now seeing all the chaos, have then proceeded to racially abuse him and then attack him. There was no major police response. There was no anything. The guys had to one on one it, basically, or triple one it, whatever you do, to get a crime reference number in the hope that the police will come back to that venue and sort this out. Now, that's a racial assault and attack. There's no two ways around it. There's no other way you can say it's not, because if that was. a load of white guys attacking a black security officer for doing his job, there would be an absolute fucking uproar. It would be in the papers by now. You know, the police would have been there, the boy would have been arrested, so on and so forth, but this has not happened. This individual has been allowed to sort her off into the hemisphere, but the, the blessing for this boy is the CCTV. And... From what the security officer said on that particular venue or how the police treated him, I said, well, it's not really racism what's happened to you. This is a, uh, I don't know what to call this. I don't know what to call this. I've had enough of it. I personally deal with being racially abused on a regular occasion. And enough is enough. As far as you understand that we're not all equal under the eyes of the law. Are we not all equal under the eyes of the law? I'm fed up of people trying to use their ethnicity, their skin colour or their religion to manipulate, trick or deceive to get what they want. And yet we are expected to sit back and go, oh, even if that person is then using their sexuality or their isms or their pronouns to try and manipulate a situation, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Racism is racism, regardless of what skin colour is doing it, to what skin colour. And it should be dealt with in the same appropriate manner. There is no difference. There is no difference. I stood and fought on the street to defend black people, to defend the Asians, to defend mixed race kids. You know, I don't give a fuck about the religion. Whatever. If something's wrong, I'm going for the fight. You know what I mean? Because it's not right. And yet when it comes down to... Myself, my skin colour, people like me. It's all right. It's okay to be abusive and racist to the white guys or the white ladies or the white kids. You know, oh, it's fine to be racist to white people. Don't worry about it. Is it though? It seems here in the United Kingdom, that's the way it is. How dare we speak out about anything? How dare we say anything? Because lo and behold, more than likely it would be me getting arrested, me getting locked up, not the perpetrators. I had it. Um, I did a video on the on the actual one where I was, 
racially abused amazingly by an Asian gentleman, and I said this on a video, and I reported it. And I remember the, light, uh, the lady from the tram stop at the time where I was working uh, across the way. A random white lady got off and she chased off this Asian guy going, fucking leave him alone because I refused to react to what he wanted. So this Asian boy then shot off up towards Oldham Street, disappeared, which I've said in other videos. About 10 minutes later, two coppers come. Yeah, you have committed a racial crime. I.e., I have committed a racial crime. I was like... I don't think I have. Yes, you have. We've got this information. Oh, really? I've got a shop full of customers and people on the tram stop that will tell you otherwise. And they're like, oh, all right. I said, I've been racially and verbally abused in such a manner that is totally unacceptable. And I'm not happy. They then fobbed off down Marker Street. Another 10 minutes later, one of them comes back and went, oh, we need to log the fact that you, it's a racial crime against you. I said, yes, you do. So please tell me, boys and girls, what is going on? Why is it that being, why is that being allowed? Why is it being allowed that I can't speak out? Because if I speak out, I'm a racist. But if any other ethnicity speaks out, they're entitled to say what they want. And it's okay. It's not okay. And it's not right. Something needs to be done. I'm fed up of going... We are all equal under the eyes of the law. Obviously, we are not all equal under the eyes of the law. If I, as a white European, can be racially and verbally abused, and those people get away with it. Or I could be physically attacked by different ethnicities and defend myself, and I will be the one going to court. Where is the justice in that? Enough is enough. I've had it in the back teeth. I know other people from other ethnicities are fed of this same, uh, fed up of this absolute same bullshit. They're fed up of it. Why are they fed up of it? Because they don't agree with it either. Okay, I don't understand why we as white Europeans are not allowed to have an opinion. We're not allowed to speak up. We have to conform to other people's cultures, other people's beliefs, and bend over backwards. No. No, this is absolutely wrong. And I'll say it again, apparently we are all equal under the eyes of the law. Obviously we are not.